Hi Tokyo Tops! Today we are going on a little adventure in Shibuya. There are two new attractions, Miyashita Park and Transparent Toilet. Let's go check them out! Tell me something fun about Shibuya. Shibuya is going through a rebirth of sorts. A rebirth? There's new buildings popping up everywhere. We have Hikarie a couple years ago, Shibuya Scramble. I love Shibuya, it's one of my happy places. If I get sad, I come here and I become happy. And why is that? What kind of energy Shibuya it's provides just the you? the energy, that's the thing. There's so much energy, there's so much, so much people. I think I'm a type of person who gets energy from people. Crowds. Yeah, so if I come here and see all the lights, I mean, it's the Times Square of Tokyo, really. Shibuya to me is like, I feel there are many attractive people. There's a lot of like 20-year-old like, hosts. Yeah, like the guys here are very handsome, like the girls here are very like pretty. Should we go to Miyashita Park right now? Oh, yeah, we have ice cream. The secret to eating ice cream is to push the ice cream in the cone, and you do that with your mouth. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah! That's not. Because then if you eat here, this is all empty. And sometimes when you lick it, it can fall off. And now if I lick it aggressively, it's not going to fall off. That's what she said! <laughs> because it's like slowly making its way down the cone. Then every time I eat the cone, it's always an enjoyable experience. Tell me something oh. interesting gay in Shibuya. Any story that happened to you? Um, there's a Hatemba here that rejected me for being old. <laughs> That's not a happy story. <laughs> Let the users decide. <laughs> Let the viewers decide. Where will you take your stray friends to in Shibuya? There's like a dive bar down there. A dive bar? What do you do? You do diving? A dive bar is like a... Like a, like, like a shitty bar. Like a shitty bar. All right, we've arrived. We're at Miyashita Park. Let's go. Is and you can see all, all, all the, the store signs. They're quite, like in an old retro style. So I think the whole, the whole theme here is kind of like retro Japanese. Let's go up. So there are a lot of families, but I think, family, yeah. I think at the top it's going to be a lot more like... Actually, there might be kids up there, but it's quite datey as well. It's a date spot. Ah, uh, you just checked him out. I think the interesting thing about Miyashita Park is it's this weird... It's like blend of modern and retro industrial. Like if you look down here, this is the Yamanote line. So we can literally just sit here and watch the train go by. It's very... And actually, you know, train is a scenery in Japan. That's true. Like, and I well, see... it's the Yamanote, so it's going to be the most popular or most famous train. Yeah, and they have something called like a, the train otaku. Yeah. And I sometimes see like, they go to the train station, take pictures. What you can see now, I think it's very family based. Yeah. I mean, this is family based. But I think that at night it'll change a lot. Hi, and then they bring a lot of the food truck up here. Ah. And it's, it's all like datey and peacefully. It's not It's not this level of sort of like busy bustle sort of. I think this is the event. They're having a yoga with baby. It's like a baby yoga event. Oh. That's why they have like some, everyone's bringing a baby. We chose the wrong day. Too many babies. <laughs> yeah, I thought it's gonna be more tree. It's more like plants, more flowers. But it's more like a, uh, how do you say, like a like a grass area. I like it better at night. So I think it's really nice night? because you can see all of Shibuya lighting up at night. It's really pretty. 
Um, it's not as busy and I think it's a little bit more of an adult vibe. So it's kind of a nice place. I could totally see myself once Corona ends, coming here, sitting outside, having a drink with some friends and mm. then like going and doing something. Yeah. Um, having dinner, maybe coming up here and chatting. It's really nice. Well, I have to show my face. This is a problem with masks. That was significantly harder than it should have been. So we're on our way now to the new transparent bathroom. It's uh, on the opposite side of Yoyogi Park. The idea is to sort of take away the dark, dirty image that public toilets have. Hi, Tokyo Tops. Oh yeah, <laughs> if you don't We forgot say. to say that. If yeah. we don't say it, then you guys don't know who, who you are. You are. I think we're at the toilet. I think we found it. We found the toilet. Yeah. And actually there are a bunch of kids just <laughs> hanging out here. Seems like a bad place to have a transparent A transparent like toilet. art project. Yeah. But we're gonna turn the camera and show you guys, sure. right? Yeah. So you're gonna use one of them, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip it out and then you can see whether... Yeah, you, you can't see anything anymore. A few moments later. Oh! Did you see me naked? No, not at all. Oh, it's crazy. What's the technology? That you can see. I don't know. I feel like they have something like this on... I don't know, I feel like maybe I've seen it on an airplane. Have I? Yeah, wow. you don't see shit. Wow. Right? It's also kind of interesting How you know, know it, who yeah, is, you is know it being used or not. Yeah. Andrew, see so many kids? That's your future. Have a nice husband and kids. That's your future. <laughs> that's my dream future. That's your dream future, yeah. That's... I may not reach that point in my life. Guys, do you see? There's Sakura. It does look like Sakura. <laughs> It is Sakura. It's this sakura. is really weird. Is it confused Sakura? I mean, this year is just super weird. Yeah, right? like, it doesn't know the weather. whether to bloom or not. And people say Japan is super clean. Let me show you the true Japan. <laughs> <laughs> people say Japan no, is super clean. Well, stop fantasize Japan. It's not perfect. It is not perfect. <laughs> it's, it's almost perfect, but you still see shit like that. <laughs> Very much so. This right? is the part that you don't see in all these like... <laughs> We're showing you the real Japan. Uh, so thanks for coming around with us uh, today as we went around Shibuya and looked at some stuff, some new stuff. Um, when you're here next time, you can check these things out. Did you enjoy the date today? Oh, is this you attempting to take me on a date? Yeah. It was, uh, it was B minus. <laughs> B minus? B minus. I'm being, I'm being so nice. What, what, what did you do in particular? I take took you to, me to a transparent bathroom, to the and then we went shopping for you. <laughs> what did you think of Miyashita Park? Miyashita Park was overrated, to be honest. Well, maybe it's different scenario, you know, because we went into uh, during the daylight, and yeah. as that Andrew said, like it's probably cooler when you visit at night they, when they have the food trucks. But overall, I just feel like it's not really a park. It's more like an open space with like a place that you can sit on and there's a nice Starbucks and that's it. But anyway, um, if you like really want to visit a really cool park, I think maybe next time we can show Yogi Park where like Shinjuku Gyoen, there are like other major parks that you can visit in Japan. For sure, for sure. <laughs> All right. Bye bye Tokyo Top, see you next time. Bye. 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 bye.